guys. So it's winter time. May not be the best time for you to go fishing right now. Maybe the weather's nasty where you are, but it's a good time to do some maintenance on your fishing equipment. So I'm going to show you a few tips today to keep your stuff running right, keep it catching fish for the next season. The way I do it, I do it pretty fast. I don't get into too in depth with it, and keeps my gear uh, running right for the next fish I catch. So first thing I do is, uh, you know, I'll take my lure off or whatever I'm using. And then I'll reel all the line in off the reel. And then I'll take the reel off the rod. So I've got one of my nice Dobbins Champion Series rods here. This is old Shimano Corrado. And uh, I think I've had this reel since I was 18 years old, but it's a goodie. And as long as I keep it oiled up and uh, maintained properly, it, it does pretty well. And these things get nasty. If you fish a lot, like I do, uh, you get a lot of debris in there that's it's just nasty crud that's going to keep you from casting a long ways. And um, obviously you don't want to have any grinding or anything like that that's going to decrease the life of your reel. So using, a, using the proper stuff is good. I've got a few things that I use that I keep with me in, uh, in my travel equipment and um, at home that I just spray on there and I'm usually out of there pretty quick cleaning. So on the reel, that's usually the first thing I focus on. I'll take some rim oil. I've been using this stuff on my outdoor equipment for a long time. It's great on guns and other gear, but it's also really good for fishing gear. And I use this more for cleaning, uh, cleaning out the debris. It's got some, some chemicals in here that helps break up that deep dirt that gets into your fishing reels and it helps get it out of there. So first thing I do is I'll attach the little spray nozzle to the rim oil and you can pick this stuff up pretty much anywhere. It's uh, pretty common stuff. I usually get it at Walmart, but usually any outdoor store will have it as well. And usually the nastiest part of your reel is going to be up here in the worm gear. So you want to get that stuff out. That's, that's going to stick up when you're reeling. And um, this stuff, if you, have the, um, if you have the little nozzle on here, it's going to foam up and it's going to help break down those particles. So we'll shake it up and then we'll spray it in here. And it's foaming up pretty good. And I'll usually reel a little bit, get both sides really good. It's really foaming up and then I'll just reel for a little bit. And what that's doing is just breaking up the, uh, breaking up the debris in there. Okay, so now I feel like uh, it's pretty cleaned out. And I can see that there's a lot of bubbles in there that have broken up the debris. And so the next thing I'll do is I'll just spray all the other uh, moving parts on the outside of the reel. I'll get the, the reel grips. I'll get in here, the handle turns. And I'll also get the, uh, the button, the uh, release, the casting button. And I'll just work the parts around, I'll spin them, I'll click them. And the next thing I'll do is I'll take some Q-tips or a towel or something like that and just remove the visible debris, you know, the stuff that's obvious, the obvious gunk. And uh, this one's it's pretty gross, <laughs> it's pretty nasty. But I'm not actually going to break this reel apart take it down. I'm, I'm just going to do a, a thorough fast cleaning of the, the parts on the outside and I'll do some oil on the gears on the inside and uh, that'll be about it. And you want to make sure you're getting out all the you know, little pieces of grass and things that accumulate in there. It's going to slow you, slow you down. Next thing I'll do is I'll take the spool out and something you can do if, you, if your fishing line is kind of wiry, if it's been on there for a while, you can just take a piece of tape and tape over it before you take it out of the reel. That way your line's not going everywhere and going crazy. Um, and then basically I'll just wipe down the uh, end of the spool, wipe that down, and then I'll go ahead and I'll spray 
I'll spray this down with some some lubricant and I'll use a couple different kinds just depending on whatever I've got around but this is an all-purpose lubricant here spray that on there put that back in and then I'll spray around the brakes and uh, I'll spray with the, the cleaner around the brakes and also in the housing spray that as well and I'll wipe that down with a q-tip clean that up and we'll put a, some more lubricant on there and put the case back on it and now I'll pretty much just wipe the whole reel down make sure I'm getting all the nasty gunk off the outside everything is pretty well oiled now except for the worm gear uh, for the worm gear you want to use an actual lubricant an actual uh, like a gel like a gel or lube traditional lube this is like what I have here I'll put that inside inside the worm gear and then that's gonna keep it on track, moving smooth, in reel and in the big ones. And one of the last things I'll do before I put my reel on my rod is use some line preserving product. This is absolutely my favorite, it's KVD's line and lure, and I think most people will tell you this is the best. And using the rimmel and stuff like that, I'm not sure how it affects your line, so I try not to get it on my line too much, but I do use this a lot and I'll just spray the whole spool down with it and this is really good if you're storing your reel for a while or even the night before a tournament letting it soak in really helps you get some more distance on your cast and it dampens your line a bunch so <laughs> you don't want to forget about your rod either so I use the rim oil and I'll spray down the whole rod and especially the guides the guides is going to be where you're building up the most debris that's where the lines coming through and I'll take the q-tips and I'll basically clean out those guides after I've sprayed them down with the rim oil and then I'll take a rag and I'll wipe down the whole rod so go ahead and I'll just take the nozzle off of the spray can and I'll just go ahead and spray these a few times and that's going to break up the debris that's in there and then I can take my q-tip and start cleaning it out Also do this with a paper towel or napkin or whatever you have. Q-tip's really nice when you get up into the real small guides. And that's doing a couple of things for you. It's it's cleaning out the guides, but it's also providing a little lubrication on there. So the next time you go to cast, you're actually going to get a little bit more distance on your cast. It's going to be smoother. So. It's a good thing to do before you go fishing, and uh, it will help you get some distance. And usually your first guide at the top is going to be the dirtiest, so really pay attention to that. And then usually you'll get some debris around the reel seat, so I'll take some rim oil there too, spray it up in there, and then I'll take my cloth. And I'll just start wiping the real seat down. Clean out the dirt. And also spray the threads where the real seat is, make it smoother, and I'll just wipe down the rod. And it has a little Teflon coating in there, so it's gonna protect it from some dirt and the elements. And uh, just keeps it looking good, keeps it nice and shiny, and gets a little protective coat on there. Then all you gotta do is put your reel back on your rod and you're ready for the next fish that you catch. So this is gonna help you cast a little bit longer, but it's also gonna help your gear last much longer. So hope this tip helps you guys. And I'll catch you guys next time. <laughs> this is gibberish. Uh, like a lot of you, I do some, uh, what? <laughs>